Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel Creative Grandma. It's Stitch of the Week time and this week's stitch is Stitch of the Week number one, the corn on the cob stitch and it's otherwise known as a vertical shell stitch and that's because the shells run vertically up through the pattern. It's just a version of that vertical shell pattern. In crochet, a lot of times there's so many different names for the same stitch. So this was a special request from one of my subscribers who said, Glenda, could you do the corn on the cob stitch? And I just had no idea. I looked online. I couldn't find the pattern. So she sent me the pattern, and this is what the pattern is. Again, it's called the corn on the cob stitch. Very fun stitch to do. I had a lot of fun doing this. This is the right side where the shell stitches kind of dip in a little bit. And when you turn it over, it's a little more predominant on the wrong side because the shell stitches are like puffing up a little bit but it is a reversible pattern where it's going to look the same on the wrong side as it does the right side now this pattern is wonderful because if you're looking for a stitch pattern that works up extremely quickly, this is wonderful for maybe a summer top, a sweater, a tote bag, maybe an afghan. So let me show you the three samples I have today. Now this first sample was made using the Lion Brand Landscape Yarn in the color Fiesta. This is color 215. I used quite a bit of it, so you're not going to see all the colors there. I used most of them, but this is how the colors work up with that yarn. Absolutely beautiful. So that's my sample number one. Here is my second sample, and I always like to make that bright white sample. And this is a fun pattern, and June is the month for weddings. So if you're looking for a quick and easy project, maybe a wedding afghan as a wedding gift, isn't that pretty done in the solid white? So that's the front. And then again, when you turn it over, you're going to have the same stitch pattern. And this sample was made using the Premier Basics. This is a value yarn from Premier. It's a four medium weight worsted weight yarn. It comes in a large seven ounce skein. And I use that in a lot of my samples and designs. So that's sample number two. Now sample number three, I used a variegated yarn. You can see how differently these stitch patterns look depending on what yarn you're using. That's the front. And when you turn it over, that's the back. So the yarn I used for this sample, I had to tear the label off because I had to take it from around the skein. I couldn't find the center. It was Hirschner's Worsted 8 Baby Yarn. And this is color number 2008 Tiara. So just a beautiful pastel, sort of like baby colors with those pinks, yellows, and greens. So that is my third sample. Now the stitch multiple for this pattern is a 15 stitch multiple. You're going to run from the shell stitch over to the edge of the next shell stitch. So right here is a 15 stitch multiple. So for every section that you want, this is one section and this is another section. This is 15 stitches. So for today's tutorial, we're going to make the same size sample. So we're going to do the stitch multiple of 15 times two. That's this section here, one, two. And then you have to add 16 more stitches. So again, it's a multiple of 15 for each one of these sections. And then you have to add 16 more stitches for the beginning and the end in between the stitch multiples. So it's very confusing to some people about the stitch multiples. So for today's crochet tutorial, I'm going to be using the Lion Brands Yarns Vanna Choice in the color Mustard, color 158. Now, depending on what yarn you choose to use, I'm using a four medium weight yarn. So I'm just going to look on my label. It's telling me to use a size 10J hook. So I have my yarn. I'm going to grab the recommended hook size. So grab the yarn you want to use, grab your hook, and let's get this pattern started. 
So I have my yarn attached to my hook and I just used a double knot. You can use whichever method you prefer to join your yarn. Again, this is a stitch multiple of 15 and then add 16 more chains. So we're going to take the multiple of 15 and we're going to do two repeats. So 15 times two is 30 and then we need to add 16 more chains. So today we're going to start our sample swatch by chaining 46 chains. You're going to yarn over, pull through the loop on your hook and that creates your first chain. The loop on your hook does not count as a chain. That's one, two, three, four, five. Continue until you have 46 chains and I'll be back and we'll start row one. I'm back. I have my 46 chains made. So now we're ready to begin row one. Row one is going to be a simple single crochet row. So we're going to skip our first chain. You're going to insert into the second chain and work a single crochet. Yarn over, pull back through that chain. You have two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. That's how you make a single crochet. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet. Single crochet into the next stitch. Now, if you're new to crocheting, put a stitch marker right here in the top two loops of that very first stitch. And then when you come back with the next row, you're going to know this is the last stitch that you work in. So again, put your stitch marker right into that first stitch. Then you're going to continue single crochet into the next chain, single crochet into the next chain, Continue and work one single crochet in each chain across until you get to the end of the chain and I'll meet you at the end of row one. I'm over at the end of row one. You should have a total of 45 single crochet stitches. So when you get to the end of the row, again, if you're new to crocheting, put your stitch marker into the top of that very last stitch. That way, when you turn your work, you're going to know where your very first stitch is. So let's go ahead and begin row two. For row two, we're going to chain two, and you're going to turn your work. The beginning chain two counts as the first double crochet. You're going to yarn over, insert into the very next stitch. You're skipping that first stitch because your chain two counts as the first stitch. You're going to insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You just made a double crochet. So take your stitch marker and move it up to the top of that beginning chain two. Just count up one, two, and place it right into that top chain. Now we're going to double crochet into the next stitch, yarn over, insert under the top two loops, and I always work under the top two loops unless I otherwise say. Work your double crochet. Double crochet into the next stitch. So your beginning chain two counts as the first double crochet, and then you have one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Now we're ready to begin our repeat. We're going to skip the next three stitches, and into this next stitch, you're going to work four double crochet. One, insert back into that same stitch, work your second double crochet, Yarn over, insert back into that same stitch, work your third double crochet, and then yarn over, insert back into that same stitch, work your fourth double crochet. You're going to chain one, and then work four more double crochet back into that same stitch. Yarn over, insert into that stitch, work four double crochet. One, two, three, and four. So when you look at your work, you're going to have four double crochet, a chain one, and four double crochet all into that same stitch. 
Now we're going to skip the next three stitches, so make sure that none of your stitches are covered up by that last double crochet. Make sure you pull those stitches back. You're going to skip the next three stitches and into the next stitch work a double crochet. Now we're going to work one double crochet in each of the next seven stitches. Double crochet into the next stitch. That's one. Double crochet into the next stitch. That's two. Double crochet into the next stitch. That's three. Double crochet into the next stitch. That's four. Double crochet into the next stitch. That's five double crochet into the next stitch. That's six. Double crochet into the next stitch. That's seven. So when you look at your work, you're actually going to have a total of eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So when we skip those three stitches, that is the first of eight, and then you work one double crochet in each of the next seven stitches for a total of eight double crochet. So that is the end of the repeat. So we have one more repeat to go. So let's go ahead and do it together. You're going to skip the next three stitches into the next stitch, work four double crochet. One, two, three, and four. You're going to chain one. Back into the same stitch, work four more double crochet. One, two, three, and four. So again, when you look at your work, you're going to have four double crochet, a chain one, and four double crochet all into that same stitch. Now you want to make sure you pull those stitches back. You want to skip the next three stitches, double crochet into the next stitch. Then we're going to work one double crochet in each of the next seven stitches. Double crochet into the next stitch. That's one. Two. three, four, five, six, and seven. So again, when you look at your work, you're going to have a total of eight double crochet in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can see how the repeat is forming from the shell stitch to the end of the double crochet section. Shell stitch and then your double crochet section. So if you're working on a larger project, then go ahead and continue working the repeat until you get to the last 11 stitches. So when you get to the end of the row, you need to have 11 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and 11. Now for the end of the row, we're going to do the repeat, but we're only working four double crochet to end the row instead of eight. So let's go ahead and finish row two. You're going to skip the next three stitches into the next stitch, work four double crochet. One, two, three, and four. You're going to chain one, 
back into this same stitch, work four more double crochet. One, two, three, and four. And again, when you look at your work, you're going to have four double crochet, a chain one, and four double crochet all into that same stitch. You're going to skip the next three stitches, double crochet into the next stitch. And to end the row, we're going to work one double crochet in each of the last three stitches. Double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, and again go under those top two loops, work your double crochet. And then you should have a stitch marker in this last stitch, double crochet into that very last stitch. And then you can go ahead and move your stitch marker up to the top of that ending double crochet. So row two is finished, and now we're ready to begin row three. Now rows three and four will be our repeat rows. We're going to begin with the chain two, one, two, and you're going to turn your work. Again, your beginning chain two counts as your first double crochet stitch. You're going to double crochet into the very next stitch. Again, go under those top two loops work your double crochet. Double crochet into the next stitch and double crochet into the next stitch. And then if you're new to crocheting and you're using stitch markers, make sure you move your stitch marker up to the top of that beginning chain two. So again, you have your beginning chain two as the first double crochet, and then one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Now we're going to start our repeat. We're going to chain three, one, two, three. You're going to skip the next four double crochet and single crochet right into the chain one space in the center of that shell stitch. Work your single crochet. You're going to chain three, one, two, three. You're going to skip the next four double crochet and you're going to double crochet into the first double crochet of that set of eight double crochet stitches. So again, yarn over, skip those next four double crochet of the shell, insert into the first double crochet of that eight double crochet group. Work a double crochet. Now we're going to work one double crochet in each of the next seven stitches. Double crochet into the next stitch. That's one. Two. Three. Four. five, six, and seven. So when you look at your work, you're going to have one double crochet on top of each double crochet across that eight double crochet group for a total of eight double crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do the repeat again. You're going to chain three, skip the first four double crochet of that shell stitch, and right in the center of that chain one space, work a single crochet. You're going to chain three, you're going to skip the next four double crochet of that shell stitch, and you're going to double crochet into the first double crochet of that eight double crochet group. Yarn over, insert into that first stitch of that group, 
work a double crochet. Now we're going to work one double crochet in each of the next seven stitches. Double crochet into the next stitch. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And seven. And again, when you look at your work, you're going to have one double crochet on top of each double crochet below for a total of eight double crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is the end of the repeat. So if you're working on a wider project, just click back on the video and start where I say this is the start of the repeat. Work until I say this is the end of the repeat. And you're going to repeat that across to the last shell stitch of the row. So to finish the row, we're doing the repeat, but we're ending with four double crochet instead of eight. So let's go ahead and finish the row. You're going to chain three. You're going to skip the next four double crochet of that shell stitch and into the chain one space, work a single crochet. You're going to chain three. You're going to skip the next four double crochet of that shell stitch and work a double crochet into the first double crochet of the ending four double crochet group. We're going right into this first stitch, work a double crochet. Now we're going to work one double crochet in each of the last three stitches. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. And to end the row, we're working our last double crochet into the top of that ending turning chain two. Yarn over, insert right into the top of that top chain, work a double crochet. And then go ahead and move your stitch marker up to the top of that last double crochet made. So row three is finished. This is what your work looks like. And now we're ready to do row four. To begin row four, you're going to chain two, one, two, and you're going to turn your work. The beginning chain two counts as your very first stitch. We're going to double crochet into the next stitch. Yarn over, make sure you're going under the top two loops of that next stitch. Work your double crochet. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. So if you're using stitch markers, come up and move that stitch marker up to the top of this beginning chain two. So you're going to have a chain two for your first stitch and then one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So now we're ready to begin our repeat. We're going to skip the next chain three space and into the single crochet, we're going to work four double crochet. One, two, three, and four. You're going to chain one, back into that same single crochet stitch, work four more double crochet. One, two, three, and four. 
So again, when you look at your work, you're going to have four double crochet, a chain one, and four double crochet all in that single crochet stitch. We're going to skip that next chain three space and work one double crochet in each of the next eight double crochet stitches. So again, yarn over, skip that chain three space, insert into that next double crochet, and work one double crochet in each of the next eight stitches. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that is the end of the repeat. So again, you're going to have one double crochet on top of each of the double crochet below for a total of eight double crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do the repeat again. You're going to skip the next chain three space into this next single crochet work four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. You're going to chain one. Back in the same single crochet, work four more double crochet stitches. One, two, three, and four. So again, when you look at your work, you're going to have four double crochet, your chain one, and four double crochet all in that same single crochet stitch. You're going to skip the next chain three space and we're going to work one double crochet in each of the next eight double crochet stitches. Yarn over, insert into that first double crochet, work a double crochet. That's one, double crochet into the next stitch. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that is the end of the repeat. Again, you're going to have one double crochet on top of each double crochet below for a total of eight double crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that is the end of the repeat. So again, if you're working on a wider project, just click back on the video. Continue until you get over to your last two chain three sections. And then we're going to finish the row by working the repeat, but we're going to end with four double crochet instead of the eight. So let's go ahead and finish the row. You're going to skip the next chain three space into this next single crochet, work four double crochet stitches. One, two, three, and four. You're going to chain one and then back into the same single crochet stitch, work four double crochet. One, 
two, three, and four. So when you look at your work, again, you're going to have four double crochet, a chain one, and four double crochet all into that single crochet stitch. You're going to skip that next chain three space and work one double crochet in each of the last four stitches. Yarn over, insert into the first double crochet of the last four stitches, work a double crochet double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, and then to end the row you're working your last double crochet into the top of that ending chain two. Count up one, two, work a double crochet right into the top chain. Then go ahead and move your stitch marker up to the top of that last stitch made. Row four is finished. This is what your work is going to look like. So now to continue working on your sample, you just want to repeat row three and row four until you get it to the length you wish. Now you must end this pattern with row three. And then after you do row three, you must do a finishing row. So I finished it off with a single crochet row. So again, repeat row three and row four for your pattern, ending on row three. So because I have to end on row three in order to do the last and final flat edged row, I'm going to go ahead and work row three again. So if you're working on the pattern, you're going to repeat rows three and four. Now I need to repeat row three so I can do my flat edge. So I'm going to go ahead and work row three again. You're going to chain two and you're going to turn your work. The beginning chain two counts as the first stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. And double crochet into the next stitch. If you're using stitch markers, move that stitch marker up to the top of that beginning chain two. So you have your beginning chain two as your first stitch and then one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Now we're going to start our repeat. You're going to chain three. You're going to skip the first four double crochet of that shell stitch, insert into the chain one space, work a single crochet. You're going to chain three. You're going to skip the next four double crochet and we're going to double crochet into the first double crochet of that eight double crochet group. Again, yarn over, skip the next four double crochet of the shell stitch, insert into that first stitch of the eight double crochet group, work a double crochet. That's one double crochet into the next stitch. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Again, you're going to have one double crochet on top of each double crochet below for a total of eight double crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do the repeat again. You're going to chain three. You're going to skip the first four double crochet of that shell, insert into the chain one space, work a single crochet. You're going to chain three. You're going to skip the next four double crochet of the shell stitch and double crochet into the first double crochet of that eight double crochet group. 
Now we're going to work one double crochet in each of the next seven stitches. Double crochet into the next stitch. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And seven. And that is the end of the repeat. Again, you're going to have one double crochet on top of each double crochet below for a total of eight double crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're going to repeat that across until you get to your last shell stitch. Then we're going to finish the row by working the repeat but ending with four double crochet instead of eight. So let's go ahead and finish the row. You're going to chain three, skip the first four double crochet of the shell stitch, insert into the chain one space, work a single crochet. You're going to chain three. Skip the next four double crochet of that shell stitch, work a double crochet into the first stitch of that four double crochet group. Double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, and then you're going to work your very last stitch into the top of that turning chain two. Count up one, two, and work a double crochet right into the chain of that ending turning chain. So again, we just repeated row three. So if you wanna continue working on the pattern, repeat row four, and then repeat rows three and four over and over until you get it to the length you want, and on row three. Then you want to do the very last row, which is going to give it a single crochet row to match row one. So let's go ahead and do the very last row. You're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. The chain one does not count as a stitch. We're going right into the very first stitch and we're working under the top two loops, work a single crochet. Single crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the next stitch, and then single crochet into the next stitch. Now you can just go ahead and remove your stitch marker because this will be the last row. Now we're going to begin the repeat. We're going to work three double crochet through the chain three space and around the chain three space. We are not working in the chains. We're going to work around the chain. Insert underneath the chain three space, work three single crochet. One, two, and three. Single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. Now we're going to work three single crochet around the next chain three space. We're going underneath and around that chain three space. Insert underneath the chain three space, work three single crochet. One, two, and three. Next, we're going to single crochet in each of the next eight double crochet stitches single crochet into the next stitch. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that is the end of the repeat. And you can see it's finishing off with a single crochet row that matches row one. So let's do the repeat again. You're going to work three single crochet around the next chain three space. Insert underneath and around, work three single crochet. One, two, 
and three. Single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. Then we're going to work three single crochet underneath and around this next chain three space. Insert underneath the chain three space, work three single crochet. One, two, and three. Next, we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next eight double crochet stitches. Single crochet into the next stitch. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that is the end of the repeat. So again, if you're working on a larger project, just click back on the video, repeat from the start of the repeat to the end of the repeat until you get over to the last two chain three spaces. So let's go ahead and finish the row. You're going to work three single crochet underneath and around this next chain three space. Insert underneath the chain three space, work three single crochet. One, two, and three. Insert into the next single crochet, work a single crochet. Now we're going to work three single crochet underneath and around the next chain three space. Insert underneath the chain three space, work three single crochet. One, two, and three. To end the row, we're going to work one single crochet in each of the last four stitches. Single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, and to end the row, you're going to single crochet into the top of that ending turning chain two. Count up one, two, insert into the top chain, work your single crochet. And that is the end of the very last row that you want to work when your project is finished. So again, to work this pattern, you're going to click back on the video and you're going to repeat rows three and row four over and over until you get your project to the length you want. You must end with row three. And then after you do row three, you're going to put your final and last the single crochet row across your work to match row one for a finishing edge. I hope you enjoyed today's crochet tutorial for the corn on the cob stitch or otherwise called the vertical shell stitch pattern. Now remember, all my Stitch of the Week patterns are free. You can go directly to our website. I'll also have the link in the description box underneath the video. You can click on that link, get the written pattern, and then you can follow along with the video. Not only does it help you learn how to read a pattern, it also helps you understand what you're doing more when you have the written pattern along with the crochet tutorial. Again, all of our Stitch of the Week patterns are free. You can download one. You can download them all. Get yourself a binder and make yourself a little stitch reference book so when you're looking for that perfect pattern stitch, you have them right at your fingertips. So thank you again, everybody, for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. So until next time, happy crocheting, everyone.